Health experts are now warning of new homegrown variants that are spreading across the country. What more do we know about them? Beyond, I want to be very clear before we get into this. The word variant really scares people. It is possible that these so-called homegrown variants will not turn out to be a big deal, but it is possible that they may be more transmissible or that they might cause more severe disease. So I'm going to go over what the variants are, but before I do, they have interesting names. They are named after birds. This is the first time that we've seen this. The reason is, Bianca, you and I have talked about uh, the variant that was first spotted in the UK or the variant first spotted in South Africa. By identifying them with places, it can stigmatize those places. So these researchers um, at LSU and the University of New Mexico, they decided to name them after birds. So they're probably insulting birds, but that's okay. The birds don't know what's going on. So let's take a look at these variants and where they have been found. So variants called Robin 1 and Robin 2 have been found, as you can see, in many states. Robin 1 in 30, Robin 2, which is very similar, in 20 states, and Pelican in 13 states. And Pelican's been found in 13 states as well as four countries. And then there are four other variants that have been found in relatively small numbers, but still worth noting. And you can see here up on our screen the places that they've predominantly been found. Those are called Yellowhammer, Bluebird, Quail, and Mockingbird. So the reason why we are interested in variants at all is because they may be more transmissible. I was speaking with the senior researcher on this study. He said these might be, but they might not be. We need to do more research. Another reason to worry about variants is do they cause more severe disease? Same answer. They might, they might not. We're still looking into it. But Bianca, I have a piece of good news, which is I asked the researcher, are these variants, are they good at escaping the vaccine or at least eluding it to any extent? He said no. It appears that it, from what we know right now, the vaccines work just fine against these variants. So that is good news. Get the vaccine if you can. That is good news 